Hey guys, uh, it's Karen. Um, it's the end of January almost, and holy cow, oh my god, I just got back from one of the best days of my life so far. And, um, I just wanted to update you all on where I've been basically for the past six months since, you know, I had my photo taken and was part of this project. And so about six months ago, of course, I was in the calendar project. Alex even took my photo, um, had an amazing time with it, and immediately connected with a huge group of people that I never really had before in terms of support and stuff. Uh, in my ability to advocate and connect with the rest of the LGBT community that I have never really been a part of before this. Um, so, yeah, now it's January, and so much has changed just in these past six months. Um, I mean, first of all, you know, since I made my uh, model introduction video for this channel, um, I went back to school. I started going to school full time um, under my, you know, proper name and uh, everyone referred to me the right colors and stuff and I haven't had an issue with it at all yet. Um, people have been so surprisingly open-minded and accepting, you know, just letting me be who I am. I've had so many incredible journeys since we launched the calendar and since we got funded and it's really hard to summarize them all. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is just the number of friends and relationships that I've built and made um, in this short amount of time compared to what I was last year. I mean, at the same time last year, I probably talked to like maybe two or three people at most. In contrast now, I'm mean, going out, meeting people, attending different events, um, trying to become involved with the LGBT community at my school, and it's just completely different from me now. Um, for instance, I just came from an LGBT event uh, at my school. It's called Leave the Pride, and it's this incredible conference. I'm actually going back again for the second half of it tomorrow, um, which is all about teaching leadership in the LGBTQ community um, to people who are part of that community and ways that we can both advocate and be leaders um, for ourselves and also for others and uh, ways that we can sort of facilitate understanding. Uh, for everyone. So anyway, there's that. Um, there was the GCP winter retreat, which happened at the beginning of January, and that was incredible. I think it was the first time really since uh, the launch of the calendar that I really got together with a big group of people from uh, the project, and we had an absolutely amazing time and connected so much over that experience, and sort of we're really coming together now to work on the next iteration of the calendar. And I suppose in accordance with that, I should also mention that I'm now going to be playing a bigger part in the production of this calendar. Last year, of course, I was just a model. Um, I also did the music for the introduction video that we made. Um, but this year, you know, I feel like I can take on more responsibility. I feel like I want to take on more responsibility and uh, play a bigger part in the success of this project. So um, I'm going to probably be helping to co-manage um, some of the social media and possibly some of the other logistics around how we get this whole thing organized and be part of a group of people who selects the next year's, this year's, next year's, this year, no, next year, no, the ones for this year who will be making the calendar for next year, the models and artists <laughs> for those. I also, in terms of academics and my career and my school life, I mean, that has just taken off as well. Um, I'm now attending sort of these weekly discussion groups with uh, other faculty members and students who are studying planetary science at my school, which is amazing. We get to discuss sort of the latest research, and I really feel like I'm involved in sort of the frontier area that is where I'm sort of headed in terms of my whole career direction as well. So those are extremely exciting. And then, of course, uh, the combination of the research that I was doing over the summer, um, studying mantle conduction in Io, which I think I talked about in my intro video, you can go back and watch that. Um, I went to the American Geophysical Union's annual uh, fall meeting, which was held in San Francisco, and there I presented um, a poster which contained, you know, the results of my research that I had been doing those months. And we spent the whole week there. It was a week-long conference, attending talks and just sort of, you know, listening and learning from the best and brightest minds around the world on the latest discoveries um, in so many different areas of science. It's just a plethora of amazing, interesting things that I got to experience, um, and I feel very privileged to have experienced. And I feel like 
um, these sorts of things are, are what I'm really looking to reach out and sort of grab hold of uh, in the rest of my, you know, student career. Um, I really want to take any opportunity that comes towards me, whereas before I would have shied away from them inevitably because, you know, I would never want people to know or I would never want to publish things or I would never want to be recognized for the person that I was because I wasn't comfortable with that person. Finally, in some, like, really, really big news, um, also today I just got back from submitting my name and gender marker change forms. Um, I live in Ontario, so for that to happen, uh, all you need is just a letter from your doctor and uh, just a year enter of the name change stuff. So not too complicated compared to some other provinces, and especially compared to some other countries, um, which is great. And I'm so happy and proud of the you know, steps that our province has taken in terms of um, furthering rights for trans people and making it easier for them to sort of access these really basic services that we should all be entitled to. So yeah, moving forward, there's just so much to look forward to. Um, TC Peers are moving up again. We're going to go to Montreal and uh, hang out with the Montreal folks there. And it should be another really fun time. Um, we'll be releasing our video soon with uh, the call for artists and models for the 2015 calendar. So be sure to look out for that. And, um, oh, geez. I was making this video just sort of lead it into the end of January, but I just realized that by the time I'm done making it, it's going to be February of doing that by the time I upload it. Uh, forgive me, I've just been really busy these past few weeks. Sorry. I hope you enjoy all the other amazing models in the calendar and um, uh, look forward to Yegi, this uh, month's model. And uh, from Kaylin, Miss January 2014, thank you so much and uh, hope to see you guys soon. Bye.